and residents in flood-affected communities in the lower Volta Basin are calling for proper resettlement plans from the government before the Volta River Authority commences its planned controlled spillage. After months of living in resettlement camps and dilapidated homes, the residents say the government must fulfill its promise of providing suitable resettlement homes as they feel abandoned. In this report, Channel One News' Volta Regional Correspondent Desmond Selassiago visited some flood-affected communities to assess the level of preparedness ahead of the planned control spillage of the Akosombo Dam. The Akosombo Dam spillage began on September 15, 2023, after the Volta River Authority initiated the controlled release due to rising water levels from significant rainfall. By early October 2023, the spillage from the Akosombo Dam had significantly affected several communities. On October 9, 2023, the water release increased due to the continued rise in water levels, leading to substantial flooding and displacement of downstream communities. The release of water caused severe flooding, destroying homes, farmlands and properties. The flooding submerged entire communities, including the central and north town district, where about 25% of Mefe was underwater. Following the flooding, many displaced residents had to relocate to temporary camps. These makeshift accommodations provided immediate shelter, but were far from ideal. Residents faced overcrowding, limited access to clean water, and inadequate sanitation facilities, increasing the risk of waterborne diseases such as cholera. Residents in Mepe spoke to Channel One News about the ongoing challenges they face, noting that they were yet to receive any compensations. The June 10th of September, my children were school Je <laughs> Je 
No va to kone me. Sixty-six year old Aseto Ako Akuovi lost all her property, including a building during the flood. She tells us she is yet to receive any assistance. <laughs> Monk Lalo of the Mepe traditional area, Togbenegu the fourth stated during a Channel One news interview that although the government made several promises, it is yet to fulfill them. Uh, last year's village was a very difficult. It brought a lot of uh, difficulty to uh, my people. It's, it destroyed so many houses, it broke down. Uh, all farms were submerged. Um, livelihoods were lost. And it has been very difficult. People have lost their income. And those who went for loan uh, to, to trade, all of those people were affected and it has been very, very, very difficult. We were lucky Ghanaians shows us love. Um, Ghanaians came to our aid, churches, the Muslim communities, individuals, organizations and the NGOs, uh, they have come to our aid. They were the, they were the ones who have really helped us. Uh, government came to make promises, but the government has not been able to fulfill its promise to us. Uh, we heard that the Interministerial Committee was formed, and as at now, we have not had the privilege uh, of meeting the Interministerial Committee. They have not met us. They have not had any interaction with us to know our challenges to get some of our ideas also on board, to see how best they can help us. So it has, it has been very difficult. We have been cut off, there's no information. The help that we're coming, they have stopped coming. In the Central Town District, the situation is similar. 68-year-old Doris Zuada, a resident of Apadiokome, an island community says, life has been unbearable since the flooding, which submerged her farm and home. She is yet to recover from the devastating effects. Mela de de ni mi, mi o tami va kwa ni e wa mela. Ni ni an mano fokpa, kapa vigi. E vio mi kwa de vio la pema. De vio subota ta vio ni ni me dalakwa vio ni ji kwa mela. Mo o do wa kesi ni akwa taki ni ji me ni va. E si va cho ni aglo wa kama ni. E si va kwa jui. Kapa wo kia aglo kwa jui. Chwe ni mi keke ke. Ni atapa ni mi tu e ji. Mukwoga, Tazi, Yakoplan, and Niki. Ye feel I mean not to a jibuakava. A guy me a coplan, wa, melemisu. A new yarnoa, melu. Nemila jibuaka, quack, belly matate, Nimia dakbler, yarnoi. Mila no la dibuka, guy me a coplan, yano dibuaka, roga, shake, a gawo, capemia taquamel of flint, nemi caniadu. O dolemio midi capio. Yat upon a mid the cucuna jiru, never palemu, taflache. The chief of New Bapa, Tobe Kobla Sakbiti, the fifth, stated that although support came when needed, it has now halted 
and government projects have also been delayed. He commended corporate organizations, especially CTFM and Channel One TV, for their continuous support. Life has been very, very difficult for us on, uh, on the island community of Abadiyukuma in the central town district of the Watari. Uh, after the flood, we, we find things very difficult. During the, the flood, there are a few relief items from organizations and uh, uh, NADMO and uh, uh, friends, some of my friends over here in Ghana and abroad also came to our, our aid to support us. After two months of the flood, we have to uh, take our own uh, uh, our own life into our hands. We make sure we provide for our people. So life has been very, very difficult. Currently, the government, in collaboration with some other people, they are doing 50 unit house, housing unit here at Bakwa, and which the job has come to a standstill because of funds. And now that the flood is coming, you see my house here, I live here with only one single family member. But during the flood, we were here more than 60. And uh, you can see people who will be sleeping here on the floor and all that things, which is very, very terrible. So I will urge you to talk to government to expedite uh, actions so that they can complete at least the 15 units that they are doing. I'm told that they are coming to do more if they can speed up events and give us a, a, a nice place, a, a accommodation or reset us so that we can leave the island. Organizations that came to our aid and corporate bodies that came to our aid, most especially, I have to thank CTFM and uh, the CEO, uh, Mr. Simons, and uh, Bernard Avler and his team for coming to our aid they are the biggest uh, corporate organization that came to our aid as we speak now. They have done a lot. They built a market uh, with uh, a washroom and toilet facilities. That will help my people. That even going to that market, if you are using that market, will bring some kind of hope to my people. So I, I, will, I will say thank you, big thank you, big thank you. May God richly bless CTFM and other corporate organizations, most especially CTFM. Tegbe Kwabla Sakpiti the fifth added that the intended spillage will cause more damage and negatively impact lives. Uh, the most difficult part of it is when we heard that there will be another spillage again. They went back, do their, their farmlands where that was taken by the flood, they went back, cultivate crops. Uh, you can see most of the farms in the, in the next month, next one or two months, they will harvest. Uh, they may they will harvest their maize and other things. But now that the flood is coming, they, the the farm will be washed away by the flood waters again, and uh, it it won't be easy this time around. After ten months of the spillage of the Akosombo and Pond dams, which affected communities such as Mefe, Adidome, and New Bakpa in the Volta region, residents say government is yet to resettle them properly. They are thus calling on the authorities to, as a matter of urgency, put up these structures in no time to prevent them from being affected again as they were last year, as VRA is set to spill more this year. Reporting for Channel 1 News from Mefe in the North District of the Volta region, I'm Desmond Slasiago.